welcome to Lyon. Hello friends, bonjour. Welcome to Lyon, a city known for gastronomy, its silk industry, its rich cultural history, and also the Roman history that's been here. So let's take a walk through the city and talk a little bit about what they got going on here, because this city is amazing. Lyon is known by many to be the gastronomy capital of France. And when you come here, there is so much to eat and do with the Michelin star restaurants. And if I were you, I would recommend going to Le Hall de Lyon Paul Bocuse. In this food market, one of the freshest food markets, you can try or sample pretty much everything that France has to offer. The wine, the cheese, the meat, the chocolate, even the pastries. It's all there for you. It's a one-stop shop. That's the best spot to go for gastronomy in my opinion. Get there, just lose yourself there, eat there, drink a little wine, buy a bottle. Uh, everyone's friendly. Uh, most people were speaking English, which really helped because uh, my French is no good. So go check it out. And if Leal sounds familiar, that was the name of Anthony Bourdain's restaurant in New York that he worked at as a chef when he wrote the, the famous book, Kitchen Confidential. So. I know he was a huge Paul Q fan and there was an episode he did in Lyon where he actually came and uh, hung out with him before he passed in uh, 2018. Let's enjoy this market and see what food we can get for lunch. Some bread, some sausage, and some cheese. So let's go. Pate. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. In the hostel kitchen. Also, the historic architecture here is amazing. Lyon itself, the old town called Vieux Lyon, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it dates back to, I think it's going back to, built by the Romans, back to the 15th, 16th century. It's very active. It's part of the Renaissance movement, so you could see the Renaissance architecture there. It's a stunning city to walk through. Old town. So while you're walking through, you get the chance to really feel like you're there. People are walking around giving tours dressed up in, in olden garb. So it's a, it's a beautiful experience to just come here, go for a walk. That's a free thing you could do is just walk through the city, the old town of Vieux, Lyon. A big part of the food culture here is the local food known as Bouchons. Those are the local restaurants where you can get the Leonese, the local food. So what I'm going to do is find a local bouchon here in the, the Vieux Lyon area, the old town, and uh, see what I can try. Something new maybe. This is Luvion, the old town, and you can see the 15th, 16th century Renaissance architecture as you walk through. It's actually stunning. The 
This is Shay, grandmare, like the grandmother. All right, I've gone for the three course meal. I'm getting the calf's head, the poached egg and red wine sauce, and then the local cheese from here. And to top it off, I got a red wine from Cote de Rome local. So this is gonna be tasty. So three course meal, 25 euro plus 10 for the, about 30 euro. So we'll see how it goes. Mm. First up, the poached egg and red wine sauce. Look at this. Yo, that's hot. Mm. Wow. That's creamy. Mm. That's delicious. All right. Here's the calf's head. First time eating calf's head. I have no idea how to do this, but take a look. Bon appetit, calf's head. melts in your mouth. Mm. For dessert, I went pure Anthony Bourdain fashion and got cheese. Local cheese you can only get here in Lyon. So let's try it out. Mm. A lot like um, more of a sour cream with chives. Way more flavorful. Food was absolutely delicious, but I would not do the calf's head again. Just the texture really wasn't for me, even though it was delicious and it was prepared really well. Just not my style, but I wanted to try it since I was here. Um, yeah, that was amazing. We're gonna go check out the Chavre clock, a watchmaker's masterpiece that he built on an outside wall nearly almost 170 years ago. So let's take a look. So the clock was built in 1852, and it was just renovated by Felipe, a watchmaker from St. Paul. So it looks really nice, you'll see it in the city. If you wait long enough, you can hear a little bit of music. If you wanna go for a little walk after lunch and you've been in the View Lyon area, go for a little hike, take a stroll through the stairs, head your way up to the Basilica Fourvier and get a look at the city, where you can see the river and just the beauty and the vibrance that the city has to offer. Lyon, you're amazing. Another thing Lyon was known for was its silk production. This was one of the most famous places for silk production in the world in its heyday. And now they still pay homage to the silk production by having museums. And also when you're going through the old town, some other areas, there are secret walkways called tribules where people would walk through an easy passageways to get to the market areas where they can then move their product from one to the other which was amazing at the time to think about when you walk through how busy these crowded streets are that there were these passageways that just cut sh that were like shortcuts so when you come here you can walk down them they're pretty quiet they're peaceful it's a good chance to step away from the crowds get out of the sun check that out so this is one of those secret passageways we're gonna check it So this is where the silk workers would meander through quickly to get from one spot to the other. And as you'll see, we move from walkway to walkway without dealing with as many of the crowds. So it's a, it's a good little shortcut. Oh, the Roman history. When you come here, you cannot escape it. So Lyon was founded in 43 BC by the Romans. And when you go to the Old Town area, there are still a lot of Roman remnants. Like uh, there's the architecture area of old Roman ruins from an amphitheater where they still have utilized this today. So when you come here, you could see this theater that's actually still in use. When you get here, go check this out. It's actually got a beautiful view of Lyon as well. And it's right next to the Basilica Fourvier where you could then see that. It was built back in 15 BC. And now, 
climbing up a little bit. And now it's known as Les Nuits des Fauviers, which is the Fauvier Nights, where they do theater, comedy, music. They've added 10,000 seats at the bottom of it. So they've included the ancient Roman theater with a newer theater. And they've been doing events here since the 50s. And now you have this backdrop of the city just behind everything. What an amazing way to incorporate the ancient world with the modern world, taking both sides, getting the, the old historic, which this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and turning it into something modern where you can come and actually watch a show, see some theater, um, comedy, music. So this is absolutely a unique piece of art and history wrapped up into one. Come check it out. Basilica of Fauvia in the backdrop right here. Being a huge fan of cinematography and photography, I thought it was only right to pay homage to the inventors, the Lumiere brothers. Here in Lyon is where they were from and where they invented cinematography back in 1895. At the museum, which is actually the royal family home, you can see some of the contributions that they made to cinematography, video, mo like motion picture and photography. So today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over to the museum, check out the, uh, the Institute uh, Lumieri, where the museum is also at, and uh, walk through kind of the process and uh, the time at when the Lumieri brothers invented cinematography. Wow, this is the first place where a film was ever played live. Well, unfortunately, the museum is closed for renovations, so that's okay. What I did get to see is pretty beautiful. It's behind me, this building right here. On the wall there, the factory. In 1895, Louis Lumiere shot the first ever film on the wall back here, and it was less than a minute long, but it's changed the history of video and photography forever. Amazing. I can walk by and show you the outside of the family home, but it's gonna have construction around it and buildings like portables but we'll still get a, a peep on the corner and be able to see a little bit of it so take a look at what we got It's drawn on a building, making it look like it's actually the building. 